What an amazing week learning all about landforms, reviewing our bodies of water, and then taking that trip all around Texas. So today what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you that these landforms, well, the Grand Canyon didn't always look like this. No, friends. Over time, things change. And actually, this is one of the earliest photos we have of the Grand Canyon. Did you see the difference? It changed. And friends, our Earth changes. Landforms change. Lakes change. Rivers change. Oceans change. Mountains. It all changes over time. And I want to show you some images and some videos of that change so that you can see the difference between how it was before and how it was now. We're going to go back hundreds of years, if not thousands and millions of years, to see what some of them look like. And because we weren't around that long ago, we have some images that some scientists came up with that tell us what they might have looked like based on their investigations and research. This is going to be fun today, friends. Come on. So we have these changes over time that we're going to explore. Look at the Grand Canyon. The photo that's a little hazy is before, and then the other one is after. And look, this is one of the oldest pictures we have of the Grand Canyon, and look how different it is. Canyons are, in fact, made by rivers, so let's watch this video that's going to show us all about how it happens. So the water rain comes down, comes down, and as the water, as the water moves through the river, it creates kind of like a hole in the rock and it makes the hole deeper and deeper and deeper. Do you see that? It's because the water is always moving. So the rock gets cut in a way by the water. And there you see the river as it goes through. Look at those deep walls. It cut through all those layers, friends. As water rushes through, water can be very damaging. If you have a lot of water coming at a very fast speed, it could be very dangerous. So dangerous. Look at how much rock it cut into. Wow. Remember the Grand Canyon it is very big. And that's the Colorado River that we know now. And there's a good picture of it now. Here's some more images of the Grand Canyon and the beautiful views we have. Look at all those cuts the river made. Now we have Mountains. Look at the changes of the mountains. So the top one is the older one, and then the middle one, and then the older one. Let's look at this beach. We see the people enjoying the beach. Now look at those rocks in the middle. As the water rises, <gasps> it barely touches right there. And then the water goes back. Remember I told you water can destroy rock? It can cut away at rock. Look at the bottom. So here are some changes of rivers from beginning to end. Wow, those rivers are getting bigger. Look at that. We even have scientists being able to predict the future. All those changes, friends, wow. I can't even imagine being alive back then. So many changes. Oh, hold on. Somebody's calling me on my phone. Hello? Why, yes, I'm talking to my kinder friends right now. I would love to share with you. I'll call you as soon as I'm done with them. Bye. Oh, wow. How easy is it to be able to talk to somebody or text or even send a funny video on your cell phone? Hmm. That makes me think. How has our world changed over time? Specifically with technology. We have iPads. We have Zoom. We have the internet. We have television. Wow, so many great things. Friends, for tomorrow, I want you to think, how has technology helped your life? Hmm, does it help us get things done faster, better? I bet it does. I can't wait for you to join tomorrow's lesson. It's going to be so much fun and all about how technology helps us and has changed over time. Bye, friends. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.